You guys take your time, read through this. Now, please, guys, when you see this big paragraph, don't be overwhelmed. Uh, just be calm. Take a few deep breaths. I know you're not panicking now, but if you're in an exam, don't get all overwhelmed. Just try to remain calm, read through it, and 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 then move on. Don't make don't try to make too much of a story about all of these words and stuff like that. Just try to pick out the important things. The roller coaster of mass 200 kilograms with the engine switched off travels along track ABC, okay, which has a rough surface. Okay. <laughs> um, I know some of you love your highlighters. I probably should do this every time. You poor students. Like I know some of you, I've got a lot of students that just love highlighters. At rough surface, as shown in the diagram below, at point a, which is 10, the speed of the car is four meters per second. Um, but don't be those students that do this when you highlight. <laughs> Can you see what's happening? <laughs> you might as well just highlight the whole thing, right? Um, so, I mean, if you want to do it that way, that's fine. I have seen that before. It's quite funny. Okay, let's just make sure I've taken everything away. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so at point B, which is at a height of H above the ground, the speed of the car is two meters per second. During the motion from A to B, um, 3.40 times 10 to the three joules of energy is used to overcome friction. That's important, uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, use energy principles to calculate the height. Now, when they say energy principles, you have uh, two different options. You've got W net equals delta EK, or... You could use WNC equals to delta EK plus delta EP. That is what energy principles stands for. What you can't do is F net equals MA. That is not an energy formula. So don't use that one when they say use energy principles. Okay, so my recommendation that I always tell students is the following. If there is a curve. What do I mean by a curve? I mean like something that does that or that or any type of curve shape, um, use WNC. Okay, that's, that's just from experience and from seeing how the formulas work. WNC works way better when there is a curve. Okay, um, yeah, trust me on that. So we're definitely going to use the WNC formula. Non-conservative forces are things like applied forces, tension, and friction. Remember that gravity is not a non-conservative. So you don't use gravity over here. You do not use gravity over here, guys. If you were using the W net formula, then you could use gravity. That's the difference. Okay, so let's go see what type of forces are acting on this object. Well, there's definitely friction because it's a rough surface. Okay, uh, there's no applied force. There's no tension force. Some of you might be saying, Kevin, what about gravity parallel? Yes, I agree with you. It is there, but you don't use it as a non-conservative force. The gravity will be built in over here. Don't worry, we're not ignoring gravity. It is, again, it is getting taken care of. So the only forces that we have that seem to be non-conservative would be the frictional force. And now they've told us how much energy was used for friction. Um, 3.40 times 10 to the 3. Now, this is where some students might have made a mistake. I don't know which year this was, but this would have gotten a few students confused. You are going to take this and you're going to put it as a negative 3.40 times 10 to the 3. Because it is doing negative energy on the object. Friction always takes energy away from the object. So we must put it as a negative. Now, Kevin, I'm a bit confused because here it says energy. Guys, remember that energy is work. So this actually means energy. So we can plug that value in just like that. Then we can say equals to the change in EK, which is mv squared final minus a half mv squared initial 
plus MGH final minus MGH initial. That's the kinetic and the potential. Now, they would like us to only go up to here. So we're not worrying about this part. We're only going from here up to here. So it's very easy. We can say minus 3.4 times 10 to the 3 equals to a half uh, mass, 200 kilograms. There we go. Final velocity at that point is 2. Initial velocity is 4. A lot of students forget about the square. Please remember that. And then the final height, we don't know what that is. Um, 200 times 9.8 times h minus 200 times 9.8. The initial height is 10. Great. So now what we do is we can go and simplify this a little bit. So this number, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna type in. Um, I'm gonna quickly type in all the numbers. I'm gonna put that all together quickly. And that should give you negative twenty thousand eight hundred. And then this part over here, you would keep that together because that's got an H in it. So that would be plus one thousand nine hundred sixty. H. It's easy. Take the 20,800 over to the left hand side. And so on the left side, you get 17,400 equals to 1960H. Then divide by 1960. And so we should get a final height of 8.88 meters.